All right, so I'm just going to go over a couple of the things um, that are different about starting a video meeting for um, an education account. So here are some recent updates that they made. Um, we can um, have recordings up to 250 participants. Um, people from outside of your school's domain can't request to join a video if they've already been denied entry twice. Anonymous users or ones that are not signed into a Google account will not be able to join the meeting and we can remove a participant. Um, so that's really nice. Um, so if I scroll down here, I already have another video that shows how to create video meetings in the classroom, how to add those. Um, so down here is the part I'm interested in, managing participants in a video meeting. So you can mute or remove a participant. If you created the meeting or you own the calendar, um, you're the only person who can mute or remove other participants. So in the meeting, at the top of the page, you can click people. Next to the student name, click the down arrow. Choose an option. You can either mute them or remove them. If you remove a participant, they can't request to rejoin the video meeting. You must invite them back into the meeting. Um, accept a request to join a meeting. Prevent students from rejoining. To prevent a student from rejoining, after it ends, you can create a nickname meeting. If you are the last person to leave the nickname meeting, students can't rejoin the meeting. Before you leave the meeting, you can remove any participants. Um, if you're wondering how I got to this page so that you can peruse it for yourself, maybe learn more if that's what you want to do. Um, basically, in my classroom, um, for any of my classes, when I go to generate a meeting link, there's a learn more tab and if you click learn more it's going to take you to this um, basically FAQ page where there's a bunch of information about um, the different settings and different things that you can do. It also has, I, I went over, I brushed over this, how you can um, start meetings and other apps and how you can add meetings to um, individual assignments or um, like the stream. So there's a couple different options in there you might want to explore.